You know, many people may not like one of our customers, but the truth is, underneath federal law, we don't have the right to discriminate. And while you might enjoy the black man who sits outside of our store and tells people the story about his medical situations, and while the laws may allow him to be there evermore, I want you to be careful about discrimination. We are certainly honored to have people who feel our front face of our property is safe for them and safe in ways that they can earn a living or some sort of donations. But we are very careful about our company looking discriminatory. And what I'm hearing is that you as a supervisor, not a manager, have made some sort of decision based on one of your uh, marvelous employees to turn off the power on one side of the extremities of our storefront. Not only are we not the property management company, we are not going to do that again. You're not going to discriminate and allow one person to sit outside our store and consume, which is something we pay for regularly, a little bit of electricity to play music for the world, while you're not going to allow somebody to sit on the other side, further away from our door, yet still in front of our actual physical location, to utilize some sort of electronics in order to work on his vocation. You see, in my mind, there is a disparity. And in my mind, there is a ridiculous generosity for one over the other, which might be more worthy. But I don't have the right to say that because in that case, too, it's somewhat discriminatory. Do you understand the position that this has put us in? This has put us in a position that our employees have chosen intentionally to discriminate against a truly homeless person. Because the sole function of our store is to feed, and not necessarily clothe, but to feed the soul, feed the heart, feed the mind, feed the body of people who are somewhat indigent. Now we absolutely know that we have people from all walks of life shopping at our store because of the quality of the vended products. But the one thing that a humble employee, when I mean that I'm saying a low-level employee, who does not have the responsibility for negotiating those vendorships, is that they don't recognize that those corporations who allow us to vend their products also have code of ethics. And those code of ethics and those moral codes say you may not discriminate against anyone who wants to buy our products. So here's the deal. It's not necessarily of what is going on that's the issue because surely that person that you're being discriminatory against doesn't buy every single product that we ever sold. But what I do know as a corporate liaison is that individual that you've been put into putting into a play of the day for local law or just your friendships is known quite well across our company because of how long he's been talking and promoting us as a worthy store in any community. So I'm displeased with your decision. I find it somewhat offensive and arrogant and I'd like it to stop today because the truth is that you definitely do abuse our electricity every night by leaving the lights on in the store. The truth is we should leave some lights on but we don't have to leave all lights on. So the reality is that we're already showing our disparagement by allowing our company to leave lights on in a store all night long when it's serving no real purpose other than to just keep the company highlighted for any driver by, for any walker by, for any passer by. And we like that. It allows people to peek in the windows when they're not shopping and see what is new there and what is different there in general. But some of our windows are covered, so I can't say that's the reason. But the reality is that we have rights to do things. And when we have rights to do things, we don't have the rights to tell other people they can't do things.